I didn't even want to make this video right now. I was actually working on a different video, but I had to get this news out as soon as possible. Guys, it's happened. After countless years, we finally have a, in this case, color swapped Django Fett Slave 1 Lego Star Wars set. This is as far as I can tell and as far as my sources uh, can tell a an official image like a, a proper image not put out by Lego obviously but it has leaked and here it is. As you can tell guys I'm extremely excited by this leak because we haven't had a Lego Star Wars um, Django Fett Slave 1 in so many years and the fact that this is coming out now is mind-blowing to me but anyway the piece count of the set of course will be the exact same as um the boba fett slave one uh, or at least should be and um, the only thing different about it of course are the colors and the minifigures and looking at the minifigures um uh, we have of course uh Django fett which is insane that we have him now again um with arm printing and that looks amazing. And of course, we also have Boba Fett um, as a little kid in his blue outfit, which looks quite nice. I mean, I wish they included uh, one more uh, minifigure in there, but the other Slave 1 also only had two, so it does make sense to keep it the same. Other than that, um, it's pretty annoying that this set is just a recolor and not just a new version because um well it is a recolor of boba fett slave one that is super downsized from what we've had in previous years which is pretty disappointing but i can't really complain the fact that we have this now is insane and then this i'm honestly kind of skeptical about uh, but it would make sense, um, is a leak of a micro fighter. So I'm not sure if this is actually um, confirmed or not, but um, I would be maybe 95% sure that this will also release. Um, and it's the Slave 1, Django Fett Slave 1 micro fighter with Django Fett in there. So that's incredible. The fact that we will be able to get him as a minifigure, even if you don't like the build, even if the build is still too undersized or whatever for you, you can still get the minifigure for cheap. That is pretty incredible. Um, and lastly, there's also this weird leak that I, I really don't know how to see this, but it looks really real. So it also, I would say maybe 95% sure that it is completely real, which is the Bad Batch um, ATTE set from season two of Bad Batch. Kind of strange that it's releasing now instead of maybe like a turbo tank, which we have been waiting for for a long time as well and would make a lot of sense for the Bad Batch as well. But um, yeah, that is apparently also coming out. As for the minifigures that um, come with this Imperial ATT, they're calling it, um, we have three phase two uh, regular clone troopers, of course, with the helmet holes, sadly. And then we have Tech and Wrecker, which I think is kind of strange to include Tech there because if you didn't know, spoiler, uh, Tech dies at the end of season two of Bad Batch. And so, yes, he is in that scene, but why would they include him now unless he comes back? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really make that much sense to me. But um, yeah, other than that, the set does look pretty great, but also looks exactly the same as the ATTE that we just got, except for... Um, the red markings at the front that it just doesn't have, of course, because it's this Imperial version of it. I don't know, kind of lazy on LEGO's part, in my opinion. It almost looks like an exact recolor of the, the same set that we also got again. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, especially when they could have made a turbo tank. And finally, all of these sets are supposedly releasing at the beginning of September of this year, which is pretty exciting. Still a long way from now, but still very exciting. Um, but still take this, uh, these leaks with a bit of a grain of salt. Um, they're not completely officially true, let's say. But I am pretty sure they are, maybe 95% sure that all of these are actually going to release. But then again, anything could change or these could maybe be um, fake, but I do believe them. So yeah, thanks for watching.